testing the single file performance of the M.2 copy paste and here we go oh oh my god that is so fast I didn't even catch how was it like two seconds or something that was so fast all right all right uh, hopefully the other ones do just as well we'll see though hello my friends my name is Irvin also known as Kobuman in today's video we are doing a real world speed comparison between M.2 solid state drive versus SATA SSD versus hard drive magnetic. So let me just show you, here is the CPU-Z of my system. I have Intel Core i9-9900K. Here's the RAM I have, DDR4, that is set to 3200 megahertz speed. Samsung SSD 840 EVO, this is an old one. I'm not using that one right now for comparison because it's just old and it's not a fair comparison. And the regular sol solid state drive that I'm using here is 860 EVO by Samsung, which is 500 gigabytes. And then we have Samsung SSD um, 970 EVO, 250 gigabytes, which is the M.2 NVMe drive. And then we got Western Digital, which is just a standard hard drive with 7200 RPM speed. This one is also 500 gigabytes. So let me show you what I'm doing here. On the right hand side, I have task manager that is monitoring the performance, the CPU usage. And the reason for the CPU high usage CPU right now is because I'm recording the video as well. But I will also monitor how much RAM we're using and how much actual read and write speeds we have here um, as, as, as we are recording the video and as we are benchmarking everything. So here's my setup. I have a copy of Steam folder in each one of these drives. You can tell that this is my operating system as well, which is M.2. So there's a bit of a handicap there, just a little bit, because I'm using it as the operating system. The system itself is using it to process different services that are running in the background at the same time. But it's a copy of a Steam folder, which you can see is 19.5 gigabytes in size. And the reason this, I think, is a fair comparison is because it's a combination of small files and large files which should prove as a real world comparison so here's the thing um, if you just copy a large file for example a video really large video uh, chances are that solid state the m.2 will have a huge advantage of that because the maximum speed that it can reach comparison to regular ones and the same thing for the 860 evo which is a typical solid state drive you would do and you can see it's 19.5 and then we also have the same thing on the uh, the uh, magnetic drive it's not showing the full size okay here we go i'll, I'll show you the full size and it's 19.5 here as well and just to prove to you that this is a magnetic one it says that it's d if i go to properties of it it's it's 465 gigabytes which is the the magnetic one and here is the 500 gigabyte solid state one and this one is just a folder on the desktop which is again the operating system all right so let's make a copy to itself which will test the read and write speed of each drive starting first and i will have a timer here to show up and i'll try to time it that might be off by a second but i'm going to execute a timer as well here we go i'm going to make a copy i'm going to paste it in there there you go i'm going to start my timer here so you can roughly see timer is off probably by half a second and i'm going to click on the c drive which is what i'm using right now to record this you can see the read and write speeds below and you can see it goes up quite high because it is m.2 and we'll see the time wise we have roughly 30 seconds that went by to record this it says estimated remaining time is 45 seconds well now it says 60 seconds but we will see this fluctuates because it slows down when it comes to smaller files actually because it doesn't get a chance to ramp up in speed although it is a solid state drive it's funny how this actually remains the same but it's just the, the way the computers are designed but when you think about you know uh, regular um, drives by the way one minute went by 
uh, the um, it makes sense for it to have to wait to ramp up and seek because it's spinning. It's a magnetic and it has discs and you have to wait for it to ramp up. But uh, it kind of persisted, obviously, through the uh, system itself. We can see that we're using only 34 or, or roughly, well, it fluctuates, but we're good on CPU power. We've got plenty of that. RAM remains a little bit higher than what we started with, which is normal. This is just cache stuff in the background. You can see that the disk itself is using, most of the time is using 100% of its capacity, but it does have to spend time to seek and uh, and kind of uh, look up those files at the same time. So we're almost at two minute mark here for the M.2 solid state drive. Again, keep in mind there are background processes also at the same time being used um, at the same time. So two minutes so far so that would be 124 seconds 126 seconds if I'm not mistaken stop and I was late there about two seconds so two minutes and let's say eight seconds okay let's make a note of that M dot two two minutes and eight seconds okie dokie i'm going to reset that and now i'm going to go for the standard uh standard uh, solid state which is the at 860 evo by samsung copy pasta boom all right, here we go. So solid state drive 860 Evo is also a really good drive. It is using SATA, which is um, limited to 600 megabit, megabytes per second. I'm sorry. Maximum speed for SATA 3.0, and which I believe this computer uses. So far, it's doing really well. I, uh, it might be pretty close to the M.2. Keep in mind again, M.2 is being used by the operating system as well. So we know that this is H. Let's go ahead and click on H. So far, 40 seconds. This is the real time of read and write. It has a really good, um, really good speeds here. So if you just want to get regular solid state to improve your speed, this is a really good opportunity too. And the 860 Evo. Um, is also um, a good good choice when it comes to this. You can see that the maximum speeds are not reaching as fast uh, as the M.2 when it comes to high peaks. So this might be actually a pretty close uh, fight here. It does help it that there are a lot of small files that it has to actually has to seek first. So there are no really large files to deal with, which M.2 would just destroy it in. So far, minute and a half, minute, and we've got. It's it's doing really really good. I'm I'm really happy with the speed of this 860 Evo. And uh, so far, so good. Minute, wow! It actually might beat the M.2. I'm gonna get ready here to stop it. All right, all right. Here we go. Here we go almost two minutes went by there it is two minutes and wow it's actually pretty close remember i was two seconds late on the other one sada let's just do this sada ssd two minutes and three seconds it beat the M.2 when it comes to this type of performance. All right, let's f check out the uh, magnetic storage. I'm going to reset this. Copy. Paste. There we go. That's the magnetic drive and this is not even going to be close. We know that the magnetic storage here is D 
and you can see it's using 100% of its power for the most part, but it does fluctuate again. This is just the way the drives are. And the time of completion is going to be a lot longer. So in that case, I will actually speed past that so you guys can see the final result. Um, in comparison, I will get a large file just so you guys can see the difference. As you can see guys, this has taken a while, so I'm just going to kind of end this when it comes to the Western Digital part of it, when it comes to magnetic performance. You can see that it doesn't even stand a chance to anything like this. It's been, uh, let's see, three minutes, over three minutes here, and it's not even halfway down, so we know it's not going to compare at all. What I'm going to do next is do a take a really large file that's just a single large file and see how well it performs in comparison to the two solid state drives to see if it's worth it or not. Here's the test of one single large file, which is just the video, which is about two and a half gigabytes in size. I'm gonna do copy pasta. This is the M.2, uh, just a sec. This is the M.2. Okay, that was really fast, but you can saw, you saw that the the speeds just spiked like really high because it could reach that maximum speed with single file. I, I didn't even catch how fast that was. I think it was like two seconds. Here's the standard SSD. Copy pasta. Okay, it's still really fast, but about half the speed. And you can see that it's noticeable there. So that's one large file. And then again, lastly, we have magnetic, copy pasta. Which is not horrible, but you can see that it's slowing down quite a bit and the speeds are nowhere near to the solid state drive action. So there you have it guys. If you like to copy things that are large single files and you want them copied fast, then M.2 is for you. If you are doing video editing, then M.2 NVMe solid state drives are for you. If you're just a regular person that needs to, you know, upgrade from magnetic drive, then just a regular 860 EVO or similar is for you. Especially when it comes to copying folders that are large in size. And I'm not exactly sure how much of an effect it has on the M.2 being as the operating system and doing this type of performance test. I am uh, just kind of, you know, putting this together just to kind of compare as it is. But I'm not sure, to be honest. So when it comes to it, interestingly enough, in this comparison speed, the regular solid state beat it by a few seconds when it comes to copying just a large folder. When it comes to loading times, it depends. If, for example, and, and you know, I get this a lot. You know, people ask me mostly about video games. Is it going to load my video game faster? Well, it depends. Does your video game have a lot of large files that it needs to load at once? Then yes, then M.2 might be faster. Otherwise, it's going to be pretty close when it comes to just the regular 860 EVO solid state drive. So there you have it. This is a real world speed comparison between all three types of drives. If you like this video, please share it with friends. Let me know what you think. And there are links in the description for each one of these drives. Have a good day. Bye-bye.